Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is a general reading. That being said, it might not resonate with everybody, so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you when you just leave the rest of this side. If it doesn't seem like it connects, it doesn't feel right, then, you know, just toss it aside. It'll be good for somebody else or for another moment for you. That being said, if ever you would like to receive, uh, you would like to have a reading, uh, you would like to inquire about one. It may be about your life, your relationship, some guidance, your career. Please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time and click the subscription button, the subscribe button to show your, your support, I'm sorry, to myself and to the channel and it would be mostly appreciated. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading and I'm going to um, explain to you exactly what it is I have done here so far. So what I have done is first I would like to say that this reading is for the sign of Virgo. Secondly, I have channeled messages from your guardian angel to come and give you some some curiosity, some wisdom into your life uh, to come and give you, um, it's all about blessings and messages. It's really about positive progress in the mind and in the spirit. So there's nothing negative in here. This is all positivity, okay? So these are messages from your guardian angel to you. So let's go see what kind of messages I can deliver you. So we're going to be talking about some transformation. We're going to be talking also about some opportunity. Let's begin with the transformation here. The process of self-transformation will open your eyes to the timeless truth of yourself. The gradual process of transformation occurs through the evolution of your current ideals and values as you grow into the person that you want to be. Now, the desire for self-transformation occurs through all of life's stages because the spirit is ever-changing and always in search of greater wisdom. Transformation carves a path bringing forth new vision and assistance while properly reevaluating what already exists. The desire to liberate a, a fresh and improved self is a, it's a passion of the heart and it's a quest of the spirit. Self-improvement of any kind, may it be intellectual, spiritual, or physical, is a great incentive for working steadily towards healthy self-renewal gained through transformation. Be aware of the path you're on in life and take the steps required to remain true to the direction of your ultimate purpose. Over time, behaviors develop in relations to specific circumstances. Your brain becomes accustomed to a certain response and it causes you to act and react using the same patterns of behavior under similar conditions. Now, the only way that this can be changed is if you pay attention to what you're doing and why you're doing it. Only then can you consciously decide to make different choices. So doing so, you will break from your repetition and you will give you the ability to transcend negative paradigms. Now, self-transformation is liberating. It creates a steady stream of healthy change for both matter and spirit. And it's bringing the new perspective as knowledge is poured into your light. Transcendence is a natural, it's a gradual progression and it's taking place through discipline, through insight, sanctity and the spirit's will. There's nothing to fear about transformation of the self. It's positive, something you're meant to go through in order to carry out your purpose. It offers direction towards a goal and there's a natural longing within to grow beyond yourself while everlasting retaining your identity. You will infiltrate the mysteries of your heart as you revamp yourself in the pursuit of higher consciousness. Through the active process of self-transformation, you'll realize the timeless of truth of yourself. So now we're going to move over to the second message that I do have for you and it is all about opportunity. When your eyes are wide open, opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. The world is full of opportunities hiding in every nook and cranny. It's wanting to be discovered by someone exactly like you, but do not wait for opportunities to find you. 
you must seek them yourself. The exciting thing about it is that by being on the hunt for opportunities, you actually create them before your very eyes. Keep your mind open and active, realizing that you can train yourself with discipline to seize an opportunity when it does present, prevent itself. Now, regardless of any situation, envision the future in the present time, actively and passionately working towards your ambitions. With research and preparation, you'll recognize blessings in any situation instead of being troubled. Tap into your creativity so that when you find yourself center stage at the vista point of all that's out there, your creative side will be able to spot an opportunity that is right for you. Once you're eye to eye with a discovered opportunity, be courageous and chase it down. Your courage in regard to opportunity will come in handy when you need to go against the crown and stand alone if need to be. Now, taking on the role of an opportunity seeker represents an enterprising nature that's more than just the ability to make money. When you're being enterprising, it means that you have enough confidence in yourself to want to look for opportunities and advantages that will affect your future for the better. When your eyes are wide open and the shining opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. As the world around you changes in ways that are big or small, opportunity is always created. Don't allow setbacks to discourage you. Mistakes are going to happen along the way. You need to persevere through thick and through thin. You will learn and you will grow from obstacle and you're going to find a way to overcome them. They can even make you tougher and they can make you wiser. So create experiences for yourself, such as traveling to new places, maybe reading new books, taking on a course in something that's always sparked your interest but that you've never done, or that you started but that you gave up. Be an entrepreneur, always keeping an opportunity mindset. Take advantage of each and every lucky chance. And the more you open yourself to new learning experiences, the more opportunities you are going to discover. So this, my dear friends Virgo, is the ending of your beautiful reading um, of channeled messages from the guardian angels. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're able to connect with it. Um, if ever you do have any questions, you would like to inquire about a reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings. And I do wish you the most wonderful day. Thank you for being there. Many blessings and I'll see you tomorrow.